It's hot today. Okay, this one's a bit of a request. I had an email from someone a while ago asking a how to deal with um, meeting couples and I thought it was a great topic to do a video on because I firmly believe in meeting all my couples at least once in person if possible. I do 50 plus weddings a year so that's going to mean 50 hours at least of meeting couples. Some people would say that's a bit unnecessary but I think it's totally worth it and I think you guys should be doing it as well. Can, you can educate your couples of what makes the difference because they might not know all the little things that do make a difference then we've got to educate your couples without a doubt and you can only really do that at a meeting and how good is that because you can start that personal relationship with your couple can't you rather than just being somebody on the internet it justifies your price they, they get to understand how you work and all the things that you're going to do so the meeting is so so important there's so many benefits to meeting wedding couples it's a chance for them to get to know you obviously but it's also a chance for you to get to know them like their personalities and their wedding and the details and what's going to happen on the day and of course then they get to know you as well you can tell them about your approach how you work and manage their expectations of what they'll get from your service apart from all that it's just a a chance to connect with them a little bit. That way you're not turning up on the morning of the wedding to bridal preps with your camera, bride's halfway through getting a makeup done and you're kind of in having to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm the video guy. You don't have any of that awkwardness. You can just, you've seen them a few weeks before, you can just go in and crack straight on. So the first job is to get the meeting. What I do when I get an inquiry, I have a standard reply that will be something like, how are your wedding dates available? My prices start at da da da. But at this stage, I would suggest having a meeting or a phone call to chat a bit further about. Sometimes we just have a quick chat over the phone and then they book over the phone and I then suggest meeting them nearer the time as long as I'm getting at least one meeting before the day. Going into the meeting, you know two things straight away. They know your starting price and it's obviously within budget and secondly, they've probably seen a little bit of your work at least and they obviously like it, otherwise they wouldn't be agreeing to come and meet you. So they've seen your work and they know your prices and they're still willing to come meet you. That means that the work's probably speaking for itself so your job on the meeting is to get them to buy into you. You wanna make them laugh and you wanna make them feel at ease and you want to make them feel like they want to have you at their wedding. And you really want to be doing three things. The first little trick is to create or plant some fear or, or doubt. And I don't mean that in a negative or manipulative way. But what you want to be doing when you're chatting to the couple is instilling the fear of what will happen if they don't book you. I always come out with the line of something like, I, I speak to so many guests at weddings who didn't have a video when they got married and they really regretted it and it seems to be the one thing that people like people tell me all the time that not having a video is the one thing they regret it's only after the wedding that you start to th that you do start to regret it because you're looking back on the day and, and years and years to come and you're thinking oh wouldn't it be nice to be able to see the speeches again or that that dance i did with my dad i want to be able to watch that again and just saying that to the couple when you meet them is enough to make them think oh yeah maybe he's right maybe we maybe we would regret it. I don't want to look back in, in a few years with regret. And, and you're just starting to plant the sort of seeds of doubt of, oh no, what if? And it's, it's not meant in a manipulative way because I really do believe in it. Like couples genuinely do regret not having a video afterwards. So it's all true what I'm saying. But it's just reiter reiterating that point to them that, you know, what if he's right? What if we do regret it? We don't want to miss out. And that kind of fear starts to replace the, you know, the other factors of, how much it costs and then you could say obviously you want to have videography but you, you want it done in the right way so my my style's natural and minimal and really discreet i always you know say to the couple you, obviously you want videography but you want it done in the right way you don't want these teams of people that can come in with loads of equipment because that's going to put pressure on you guys and it's going to upset your guests and you don't want to like you you don't want your guests to feel awkward and that's just that's just the way i do it i'm not saying there's anything wrong with being that kind of videographer that's just the way i do it but again, it's just planting the fear within the couple of, yeah, we don't want that kind of video. That's exactly what we don't want. And it's steering them more towards, you know, booking me. The second thing you want to be doing, and probably the most important reason to meet couples, especially nearer to the wedding, is to manage their expectations. Because of the way, because it's quite minimal and discreet in the way that I film, I want the couple to know exactly what they'll be getting from me. And I think it's important to manage their expectations of how you're going to work on the day, and what they're going to be getting afterwards because then you're minimizing 
the chance of them coming back and saying, did you cover this or do we get, you know, all those questions after the wedding, of, oh, did we not get this, do we, did you cover that bit, can you send us a shot of the, if I've told them beforehand and shown them examples of exactly what they'll get from me, there's going to be, when, when they get it a few weeks later, they'll be like, oh yeah, that's, that's what you told us we'd get, there's no, there's no, I always talk through the whole day from my perspective, so I will say, you know, I'll, I'll start a couple hours before the ceremony and I'll turn up at the bridal prep and I'll come in, I'll say hello and then I'll just blend into the background, film discreetly, you can crack on with your morning and then from there I'll go to the ceremony and I'll get set up and I'll film your whole ceremony, you'll get it in full and this is, here's an example of what that will look like, I do it from a couple of angles, here's what I do with the audio, I clip a recorder for the groom and I, and I talk them through the whole process, the whole day from my perspective so they know exactly what, when and where and how I'll be doing things throughout the day. It kind of puts them in the shoes of their wedding day as well because as you're talking about it and you're saying you know you'll do your ceremony and then it's your first dance and I'll be filming that. All of a sudden they're put into their wedding day and they're starting to think about it and get excited about it and, and as, you, as you're talking through and reassuring them that you'll be there capturing this moment and that moment but nobody will know you're there because you're doing it dead discreetly they're kind of thinking yeah this we want this guy at our wedding we can picture this guy at our wedding. And the last great thing about having a meeting is it's a chance to sell in uh, a few extras or upgrade your packages or just sell in some add-ons. I've, I've got a few little extra add-ons like second shooter options, raw footage that I offer, things like drone and extra USB copies. It's a chance to make the couple aware of that and it's not you don't have to sell it it's not like a hard sell you just say look this is what i offer and if you're chatting about the details and they've got the bridal prep over here and the groom prep over here and you'd like it both then you can say well i do offer a second shooter actually and it's gonna you know that's an extra da -da -da. it's just a nice way to make them aware of the options that you've got so they might come back in a few months time and say oh actually i remember you saying about that extra thing that we could have can we add that on and I very often get couples who just book the highlights film and then nearer to the wedding, they change their mind and they come back and say, actually, I've been thinking about it. I know you said you did the longer film. We've decided, is it too late to go for that? So you've got another opportunity there to, to sell in a few extras to upgrade them to a longer film maybe. You know, for, for videographers, I, I know plenty of videographers that will just, a few emails back and forth, they'll book the couple, they'll deal with everything over email and online forms and they'll turn up on the day having never met the couple, do their thing, produce a great video, deliver it to the client, they're happy, no issues, and you've never had to actually meet them before the day. But, but if you're not meeting them, when else are you gonna get an opportunity to maybe sell in some extras? And really, you know, really give them an, an in-depth idea of what you do and what exactly they'll get. For me, it's just so much easier to do it in person and the couple are gonna feel more reassured. Just better customer service, maybe. I mean, not all couples are fussed about meeting, but I always try and suggest it and I want them to get to know me so that they're gonna feel comfortable. And for the sake of half an hour phone call or, or a Skype or an hour's meeting, for me, totally worth it. But yeah, I'd love, I'd love to hear your thoughts on meeting couples. Do you, do you meet couples? Do you not bother? Why, etc. Drop me a comment, let's have a chat. If you have thought about trying to meet all your wedding couples or, and, you, and you're not sure how to go about it, um, I'm happy to answer any questions and I hope you found this video useful. And don't forget to subscribe and all of that sort of stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Having those meetings allows you to kind of upsell your services, which means you could be earning more money on that gig. So is that is that hour you're chatting to a couple worth it? I think it is, because it could be worth your next to 500 pound. Could be an extra 500.